Hey everyone, this is Mary Ann with Akashic Inspirations. Okay, crazy energies happening, guys. Just like wow. I remember last uh, week in my two spreads, both the spiral ladder and the quantum leap, the tower came out. So I think those tower energies are really, really coming into play today, like super charged. Um, kind of like epiphany aha moments at least for me this is for sure um big changes so today i'm i'm working i decided to work with the angels of atlantis and i just uh five came out so this is kind of something that i'm working on i'm have here are gemstones so i've got satellite for the first card i've got uh citrine green adventuring, amethyst, and rose quartz crystals. And the symbols that you see below are ones that have been given to me by, um, from Lemuria, basically. Um, this symbol is a new symbol for me that I got today. And um, they, they, the way that explained it is that it is somewhat like the symbol pi, you know, pi, P-I, 3.14, whatever it is. Um, but it had three sticks instead of two. So it means that it's pi augmented, and it's meant for healing. Uh, the second one is knowledge. The third one has to do with uh, planetary and solar and um, earth influences. This is also a new one. And it, they told me it was four sticks and needed to be called stability. And the last design that I have is for energy, energy and vibrations. So I'll start with the first card, which, <laughs> how funny or not, synchronistic, full of miracles or not, however you want to see it. Um, based on my blog today, my blog was talking about faith. So naturally, the first card that has come out is Raziel with faith faith. So what does this mean to me? It just is a confirmation that what I was talking about is true. Faith acts like a buffer to us when we are in the process of having life's hardships or things going not the way we thought they should go. They, and faith is, is kind of like, it's like an airbag. It protects you. It, it absorbs the shock uh, and the intensity so that we don't feel it as much. And by having faith, that leads us to trust and belief that everything, check out all the stars, Stasha, there your stars, baby, um, that it leads to the miracles in our lives. So I'll just uh, read to you quickly what uh, Stuart Pierce has to say uh, about Raziel. And um, if I could find it, <clears throat> sorry, and faith. Faith wishes to be present at this time of your life, and Raziel similarly desires to help you. Make a sacred call to this archangel as you make your leap of faith. Remember, we we're talking about the tower, and the tower and the Syrian starseed crystals was talking about taking that leap of faith. When courage is needed to flee from all that is familiar. As you embark on your new adventure, the subtle vapors of the universal mysteries will support you. Ask yourself, what is it that needs releasing from my life? If you hang on to a thought, feeling, or situation that needs releasing, it will only worsen. Let go and let God in. So, amen to that. Then, of course, my dearest, dearest Metatron comes through with divine intelligence. And, of course, Metatron is the sacred keeper of the Akashic Records. And today it was given to me more information. Tony, thank you for your insight into the higher Akashics because there is a higher Akashics. And it's based on the universal level. And this is leading to divine intelligence. That Metatron is the conduit for this divine knowledge. And it, it asks you to go inside and what is your knowing inside of you, your instinct, your intuition. Um, it's telling you um, that everything arises from source. Um, in the, uh, be your, your soul is the temple for the divine. Um, 
if you rest in silence, you receive Meta Metatron's teaching. So going into meditation and allowing yourself to access your intuition really does give you insight into your Akashic Records, believe it or not. It's one of the ways to go in. So the next card we get is a beautiful card right in the middle of Gabriel. And uh, Gabriel's message to us is benediction. So it's actually a blessing. He's giving us blessings from the angelic realm. And if by allowing these blessings to come in, you have joy and love and receiving joy and love and receiving a flow directly from God, from source. Um, and it's going to surpass anything else. <laughs> So that's where, again, the miracle comes into play. Um, fear makes us unaware of our angels, uh, unaware of our source, unaware of our intuition. So it's asking us to release um, all of that. Um, to look also to the divine feminine, um, which gives us our connection with oneness. The next card is also from Gabriel, and it talks about balance, how balance is needed in order to allow all of these gifts to come in. And I really see this as a progression. I mean, you have faith, you get divine in intuition, divine intelligence through intuition, which therefore brings about blessings. The blessings create the balance in your life. And through balance, Gabriel wants us to know um, to become more grounded. So go outside, go into nature, um, sit down and just soak up the beauty of that which is around you. He asks you to create harmony um, by yielding to meditation and stillness. And so that these divine messages that we're being sent, that we'll be able to hear them. And the last one is a just... A spectacular it's sandal fun with love and it's the Christ self um, this beautiful just fantastic energy sandal fun is also the sacred guardian angel guardian uh, archangel and when it says here beloved you are a child of God and a peace lover at heart this angelic oracle comes to you as a signal that new love or a renewed love is drawing, dawning for you. See life through the compassionate eyes of your guardian angel who emanates the Christos and perceive that love as being uncompromisingly beautiful. Look to the beauty that you will create for all in radiance of your love, which is a prism of the divine. Shifting your perspective to the angelic realm means you become a human angel and to start to spark miracles all around you. So I have such a big message on miracles, you guys. Such a big message. That faith leads to divine and, and, and intuition, allowing us to receive, opening ourselves to the blessings, having balance with meditation and stillness, and allowing love to not only come into our lives, but to um, be experienced and thrown out back into the world as as our actions. So, and that we are loved, and that we are really just beautifully loved, that we have all of these gorgeous archangels working with us and helping us today. Wow, super intense. It's great. I'm such, I'm on such a high. Stasha, my lovely, lovely, she sent me such a beautiful reading that has just been a catalyst to opening so many doors for me today. So, gosh, I, I think that's why you're just put in my life. Sorry, that's the way it goes. Um, also, remember that I'm looking forward to hearing all of your comments and your VRs. Thank you so much for those who have sent them to me regarding what it is that is your true heart's desire. What are you doing to forward that? Don't tell me I'm looking for true love. No, okay, that's great. But what are you going to do to allow it into your life? Are you allowing? Are you open? Is there room in your home for someone to come in? 
Um, you want to start a new business. Okay, so where's your business plan? Get it up. What What are the small steps you're going to take today to start that, to make it happen, so that you can experience the full expression of who you are? I send you so many blessings to everyone today. Um, much love and light. And thank you to those yesterday who gave me a hand and, and helped me up when I was down. So I really, really, really am grateful. Light and love. Namaste.